are nobody we can hear us right now. No, no, no. Uh, that was what one, are we? One, some two. kind of EFAP minis number sixty. What are we? Some kind of shit converter podcast? So as you can tell, the atmosphere is fiery right now. Uh, <laughs> well, we can start <laughs> off on. <laughs> I would like to comment very lightly on this non sequitur of a thumbnail where they have his face over the tweet, and it's like the tweet is nuzzled up underneath his chin, and he's just like, hmm. He's very. It looks very strange because they went through like, the trouble to add a little shadow and then making put it sure under that people can chin. see this for the literally opening seconds of the finale <laughs> mini. It's just like, this by is the way, Kenobi. this goofy thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing at all against Elio and News. I just noticed the thumbnail and I thought it's awkward that they put a lot of effort into putting this tweet beneath his chin and have the shadow and he's like he's resting his chin on it like it's a comfy pillow also i can't fuck? read it the point yeah what's the point of having to tweet that i can't see who posted that what it says like it's a it's an I, odd creative choice yeah, there's a lot of sure. effort to put in for something that's not yeah a lot yeah. went into that thumbnail between the lighting of his face and the shadows and all the stuff behind it yeah what it's a weird if you want to we have a tweet in. in your thumbnail you gotta really you gotta choose whether or not that's a battle you want to fight all, all i know is that like there's a tweet involved. Decapitated by the tweet. Oh god! It's like the blade like of a sword tweet. that's just being held on like, to his neck. You know. Yeah, exactly. Like the say, there is, is there's an artistic quality yeah. to it if the tweet is like canceling him. You know. What about that? This is one of the starts of episodes where I have to question myself. I'm alive right now. Like, wait, where uh, am awake. I? What are we doing? I mean, awake. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> alive. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the yeah, hey. final episode of Kenobi. Our yep, that's video. right. Two hours from now, you're gonna wonder. Gosh, what was it today that they talked about that weird thumbnail, or was that did just, that even happen? Uh, <laughs> does that, that happen? Dream? Is that just a fever dream of my mind after watching this show that I just imagined them talking about that? I think there are a lot more fever dreamery things on EFAP. I'm not. I'm not going to try and re-say <laughs> that. Like, I'm just remembering the thing that feels most like a fever dream from all of EFAP is the animation of Charles Dance playing Martin Luther King. Oh, I remember <laughs> that. That was good. Good time. Feels so that was like an intro dream. of it 150. Was. Yeah. To, almost a year since that was broadcast to the world from EFAP. Crazy. Oh, it would seem, because uh, we just saw the results of the premiere of episode 5 of the, of the mini, seems most oh, people yeah. thought that was shit too, even though I'd heard the wider audiences outside of EFAP actually thought episode 5 was great. Crazy, yeah. I know. Um, Stop. Now, as for six, I've I've heard a lot of different things. It does seem like it's getting positive reception. It's gonna do a lot of fan stuff. Is that that's all I've seen? It's just to give you an example, that's pretty non-spoilery. Um, he's gonna say hello there. Gonna do uh, the Dr. thing. I was so proud of them that at least they didn't do that. But I no, but I, we knew that they were gonna do that. I would have preferred to be surprised by that personally. It's the longest mm -hmm. one, so they've got the most time to fuck everything up. Awesome. I'm, yeah. Super excited. That's what I'm looking sort of forward to attitude. is really unimaginatively staged fight scenes that are probably going to be done on just a flat open ground oh, yeah. uh, in poor visibility because that seems to be the hallmark of Deborah Chow for some reason. <laughs> she's, like, she's an incredible <laughs> action director, I have to say. Christ on a bike. She cannot <laughs> stage an action scene to save her like, fucking life. Even Ryan Johnson had enough he makes intelligence them... to put a little bit of visual flair into he his tried. fights. Yeah, well, he made an action scene that passes everyone's smell test. You have to break down the throne room fight to be like, hang on a second. He manages to get the grand scale, but it's like choreography is what everybody rips into that one for. I've just realized now that I'm pretty sure like the vast majority of the fights that have happened with lightsabers in like the Disney stuff is on flat ground, like with no verticality no, no. at all. Yeah, there's nothing for people to very like, use in the environment. They can't like fall off ledges or anything. They can't use yeah, like verticality. There's just the, nothing. The, the big fight with Kylo and Ray in the water place. That was amazing. Yeah, because that was flat. It just was moving. It was yeah, flat. The <laughs> they, um, they bring that from <laughs> one flat, flat location to the other flat location. Yeah, they do jump across. The thing is, is that you are you don't need it to be like Mustafa level of insane. You can you can do what they did in the OT where it's just someone's. Well, Bespin, up on the right? stairs, yeah. or yeah, well, Bespin's a good example. But I mean, yeah, even, even in the fight in the throne room, yeah. they had verticality where they were up on higher platforms. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, Darth Maul, there was a little bit of verticality, and then there was that element with the closing doors. Just variables that make the fight a little bit more uh, dynamic, you know? Yeah, I want some like environmental hazards <laughs> and stuff, just <laughs> something to, to make it more interesting. What no. about, yeah. okay, what if we tip out a load of stuff and then light it on fire? No. Oh, like, yeah, that, that sounds that great. That's like a perfect solution. Um, can, can it be about, you know, 
20, 30 feet wide with like easy routes around either side, but nobody does it. Just like the perfect thing that Vader would do. That sounds like 100. You, you should write these, Jay. On point. Perfect. How dare you? Oh. <laughs> I, I just love the idea that this is going to be some tense fight as well when we know that both characters are alive in the OT. <laughs> it's like um, literally you know, nothing of any significance can that, happen. Uh, funny thing is that just because both of the characters are alive doesn't mean necessarily that it couldn't be an interesting fight. It's just that this show doesn't really have any value. The obvious questions will just be like, so you guys can't do any permanent damage to each other. Well, I say exactly. that. He could oh, chop oh, off oh, both oh. of Kenobi's arms and that Disney could be like, yeah, they were robotic in OT. You just didn't know. Oh, I know. Just stab us. Stab him in the gut. Yeah, in the no. gut. And he'll just put a little, <laughs> little band-aid on it and be like, ooh. Yeah, so Obi-Wan Obi Obi -Wan could. Robot cyborg things. He's, you know. Well, Obi-Wan like, genuinely uh, could cut uh, off all of Vader's limbs and then set him on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's like seriously <laughs> like come on man yeah. um, I still hate you I think we talked about this Vader's gonna have to lose this fight it, it can't work any other way otherwise they've completely fucked it but at the same time they will take the opportunity presumably to explain why Obi-Wan calls him Darth now I am the master only a master of evil Darth <laughs> because Kenobi up to this point only refers to him as Anakin or even oh, Vader. Yeah. It's like, why does he call him Darth? The reason he called him Darth in the OT was because at that point, Darth Vader was his name. He was, his first name was Darth. It was a title. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, there may be like some clumsy attempt to try and make it all fit together. I've heard things more. Mm. I expect a lot of praise of Leia because this whole show seems to be about like building her up and making her out to be just as important as Luke. I don't even know what they can do with her in this episode. If it's going to be, they're running she's, away, Vader and Kenobi. She's, she's going to defeat Vader and Kenobi <laughs> simultaneously <laughs> and tell them to stop. Tell you one thing I think we're all ready for is that Reva's going to be taking up a lot of screen time and we're going to love it. Reva! Reva! Yeah, you will love her, or else. <laughs> or else. <laughs> and so yeah, before we get into it, I figure we mm -hmm. may as well take a little look-see about what everyone has been saying in good old Oh my showcase. Oh my god. Oh. All right. If you cut any of this, you're a coward. Did you just call meme repository a coward? I'm not even editing this bit. There's a scissors on screen right now. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Comment number one. Let's throw it over to good old Fringy. <clears throat> <clears throat> You're really building this up. Leia's message in A New Hope should have been, General Kenobi, nine years ago, you hid me in your coat like a, like a Looney Tunes episode. Isn't that fucking hilarious? Also, feel weird being in comment showcase, but cool. Oh, you're in it for a second time. Yeah, you made it again. Once we get this episode out of the way, we can finally, like, crystallize that, that criticism fully. Because, uh, whatever journey she shares with Kenobi, this will be the last of it. But it's already pretty bad. Jay, you got this one. Okay. Us too, you fucking lied to me. I'm so sorry. I don't see any shields. That's because nobody would be stupid enough to infiltrate it. Except for one Jedi who managed to get inside, steal a valuable holocron from one of the Inquisitors, and managed to escape almost unscathed. For some reason, they didn't fortify their defenses after that critical oversight. Is this referencing uh, Jedi All in Order? All in yeah. Order. So what yeah. I've been told, because I didn't play that campaign, not only did Cal Kestis, is his name, not only did he break in and steal shit from them, meaning they've been attacked there before, there's a line, something about the shields of that base having to be disabled. I've disabled the shields on the outer sections of the fortress. Uh, uh, and this is Disney's is canon, the by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's the same base. Yeah. So. Yeah, I own this game, but I've not played it. I could play. Just, oh, I'm gonna have to play through all the whole thing just to find the source. It's just funny as hell, I guess, because they were like, it'll be too difficult to come up with anything for why they would get the shields down. Can we just say that they don't have any? But why wouldn't they be? It's like, because they don't expect anyone to attack. That's good enough. Yeah, okay, put it in. And then it's like, wait, but we made I, a game where that's not the case. Like, nobody plays video games. <laughs> it's very I true. guess after that attack, they were like, no one was stupid enough to try this again. Remove the shields. <laughs> I once considered installing it, and then I didn't. You can't just pull rank on a security officer when you don't have clearance. If an army major showed up at Area 51 and told the guards that he outranks them, he wouldn't just get let in. They'd arrest him and confirm his identity and then throw him out. No, all he has to say is, 
I'm here on classified stuff. Leave me alone. You yep. yeah. that's, that's totally how it works, and they'll get you right in. This is what happens when people with absolutely no military experience are required to write military organizations. It's not even military experience, it's just common yeah, sense. I, I would do yeah, better than this. I, like, yeah, <laughs> I have no military experience, but I have seen Star Trek. I could do better yeah. than this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was written by people with military experience. But then, you know, you could get consultants in, you could speak to people yeah. at least. Be like, is this plausible? Is this, how a, is this how an officer would conduct themselves? And they'd be like, are you fucking kidding? No. no. You fucking wish well, like, they would bring on someone to advise them. You have a fictional world where, like, you know, maybe it's a little different, but the whole thing is that all of these, the, the way that officers conduct themselves is based on, like, logic and, like, um, a means to an end, and, like, they all have a goal. That's why these systems are here. So, obviously, they're all going to act at least to a degree within accordance to that goal. It's not just going to be like, you're not going to be able to get into a place by going, yeah, I rank you, let me in. I'm going to tell on you if you don't let me in. Mom says it's my turn in the Fortress Inquisitorious. Am I not supposed to read the second comment on the screenshot? Wow, that was delayed. Holy shit, we've already passed yeah, another comment already since then, another one. <laughs> Wait, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Leia, I am the daughter of Senator Bail Organa and the Empire's number one most wanted criminal. Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to come and rescue me, Imperial Secret Police Officer. <laughs> Wonderful. If this show wasn't a complete dumpster fire and there were any consequences for actions, she would just have gotten her entire family branded as traitors. And the show wants us to believe she is smart. What a great scene to set the tone for the remainder of the episode. Yeah, yeah that's pretty bizarre. I love it. She has no reason to even say it, but she's like, Obi-Wan Kenobi's gonna rescue me. It's like, <laughs> oh, damn. Huh. Yeah. Times this fucking kid almost destroys everything is just mind-boggling. Like, bit. this is the kind of thing that turns people against their character. I think most people are just going to try and think of, like, 10-year-old Leia is not Leia, it's fine. Well, this whole show, I think a lot of people are like, it didn't happen, man. It didn't fucking happen. It didn't I still, happen. I still just can't believe that she knows everything, according to Tala. How Was that her name? fucking or dumb is that? Yeah. yeah. She knows everything, but by the way. Okay, yeah, that's a stakes. Things. Forget Ewoks beating stormtroopers to death with sticks. That lady literally planted her head on that stormtrooper's helmet and he just insta died. <laughs> yeah. Did you say head? <laughs> you did say head. <laughs> she planted her head. If she that, head would... bite him, that would have been a bit more badass, okay? But she but it, did, <laughs> she gently sort of goes, mm. Yeah, there wasn't yeah, even a right strike there. It was like she grabbed the base of his helmet and just oh. kind of pulled him down and that was it. Down that was went. the second one. Yeah, that was funny as fuck because it, it looks like both her and the actor and the stormtrooper it, don't know what's supposed to happen when she does that. She like, grabs his helmet and they're both like, Duh, you got me. You pressed oh, my off right. switch. Yeah. Man. It's like, you'd think they would at least have decent action choreographers to handle this stuff. Nope. But no. every Why? single action scene is just garbage and it's like they go with the first take that they do. It's like, oh, fucking good enough, move on. It's interesting because they rely so much on the action and yet they put so little effort into the action at the same time. Yeah. Because it's not even like a slap. It's like she just takes her open hand and sort of... She kind of just puts <laughs> It's like, you know how you can like drape a cloth over a parrot and convince that it's nighttime? Yeah, it I do like know that. that. It feels like she's put her it's hand like... over his eyes and he's going, oh, it's dark, I'm going to fall asleep. It's sleepy time for me. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> that was episode fours. These are episode fives mini ones now. These these are hot oh, off right the presses, right. okay? so Dear Disney, don't be too proud of this audiovisual terror that you've constructed. The use of CGI and nostalgia is insignificant next to the power of good writing. Mm -hmm. There's a neat variation of a good old Vader quote. Audiovisual uh, terror. You know, that, <laughs> that's a good way to describe it, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the CGI isn't even that great anyway. Like It isn't, yeah, yeah it's, um, it's passable. <laughs> Uh, most of the time, and then sometimes you're like, oh, that, that yeah, looks pretty good. We all have a moment of silence for Wade as well. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah. We should definitely do killer that. character. Mm -hmm. I was so invested in him. Oh, Long but not forgotten. I think that's a perfect emblem of the thought process behind so many of these Disney properties, though. It's like a character that's introduced and, like, literally 30 seconds later is dead and you know <laughs> nothing about him, but there's this big, like, mourning scene afterwards where you're expected hey, to feel bad for them. We know, we learned a lot about Wade. Yeah. It's like, it's just right? oil and like, bag uh... emotional attachment. That's what they want. It's like they don't want to put any work into it. It's just here. Feel bad about this character. Okay, now it's time to move on to the next thing. I can't. I can't wait for the, like the the Wade like trading card <laughs> to appear in some game somewhere because that's one hundred percent gonna happen. He's gonna get his own spin off. Give it time. He'll get a prequel. He'll get a prequel <laughs> series. I think they like doing spin offs for characters that we that have like a Good. confirmed death. That's like not that high stakes. I guess. Give Although it time, to be Jim. fair, you know. 
you know, uh, well, the, the dark side is a pathway to many abilities that someone considers oh, no, to be unnatural. Oh, no, Wade's a dark side user? Well, who knows, you know? Oh, my God, Wade, what have you not told us? We he only know the tip of the iceberg right now. Yeah. There's a lot to unearth. Yep, here is your problem. Someone <laughs> said this thing's evil. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here's your problem. Someone set this thing to evil. I love you. As I expected, <laughs> Reva's motives make no sense. She saw that Vader killed her friends. Therefore, she is angry at Obi-Wan who trained him for not saving her. Why didn't he just say, I was on Utapau, attacked by the clones, and therefore she serves Vader, hunts all remaining Jedi, tries to kill them, chops hands off and tortures a child to find the rebels. She is a horrible person, and I cheered when she was stabbed, but then she lived. <laughs> Damn it. It does Again. seem uh, just absolute nonsense. Like, there's just nothing yeah. there that makes any sense at all. Like, you fuckers with your child killing, I'm going to kill some children to show you. All right. of that was written and approved, and then yep. put into production. <laughs> we were just like, where were you when the clones attacks? Like... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> well, couldn't it have been neat for Ogon to be like, where were you when Leia was being tortured? Oh, right. You were torturing oh, her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. torturing her. <laughs> She'd be like, hey, that's different. <laughs> the thing is, rude. no, that would require Obi-Wan to have a comeback to something, and that's clearly not allowed in this show. Allowed, like, he just yeah. kind of takes everything that's thrown at him. Kenobi is like a bad concept spread over too much bad execution. Bilibus Bagineus. It's, a... oh, it's so nice to see the Bilbo memes are still alive and well. Classic. Those That's are good. some old school memes. Good May Mays. I do like as well if someone said, like, you know, Kenobi's a good idea, it's just badly executed. And you're like, no, it's all just horrible. No, it's really it's not. Just all yeah, bad. it's terrible. It should <laughs> never have been made. Put it in the toilet. people who suggested it should have been mm. fired. On the spot, no question. Hmm. I want revenge on Obi Wan for failing to protect all of the Jedi. I'll get my revenge by helping Darth Vader kill all of the Jedi. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> hey, it's subversive, okay? No one saw it coming. <laughs> which, which, which is funny because everyone saw it coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe they're disappointed though. Like, oh, I thought that idea was great. Damn. I love how close Vader was to finding out he had kids. If only he looked to his freaking right. If he had seen that little little transceiver, picked it up in like Bail Organa, children. Mm. What? Owen? Owen? Tatooine? Mmm. <laughs> Oh no. Sad. But don't worry, it's fine. I love oh. how that message, how it's kind of garbled and corrupted, and it just <laughs> happens to play the most like useful bits of information it could possibly display. I'm just it's... surprised how not durable that thing is. Just falls down once and just the transmission just breaks. <laughs> it isn't half as durable as Reva is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy because let's pretend she actually gave it to Vader. That's not gonna happen, but if she did and then and then she's like, see, Bail Organa is evil. We need to he's a traitor. He'd be like, Yeah, we know that already. All the stuff's <laughs> happened in the season, we know that already, and we're gonna take him in for sure. But this show doesn't seem to believe that at all. A Star Wars character receives a death blow, but they're mildly upset. <laughs> oh no. Anyway. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Qui-Gon. Oh, no. Those people in the in the chat, the live chat for the video were just like, What the fuck Qui-Gon though? Everyone's just like, Yeah, you, you, you screwed up Qui-Gon. He had a weak stomach. <laughs> He was just lying there for hours. Nobody helped him. Grand Inquisitor, I thought you were dead. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. And then... I like the title of this is his second stomach called 911 <laughs> and the paramedic <laughs> revived him. <laughs> I think to finish it off, it's just the classic. We did bring it up, but I mean, how can you not? Has a grenade to kill all the stormtroopers since the beginning. Uses it after a shit ton of her own people have died anyway. Yeah, and then even... Self unaffectively or ineffectively oh it's so that's painful often because... a trope that you see in movies and stuff mm -hmm. is you have a very some force often the bad oh. guys have a very powerful weapon but they use that weapon not at the beginning to open the fight where mm -hmm. it will be most effective they'll use it when they need to have like a in-fight low point so then the bad guys will use it it's, just, well, it's, it's the same yeah, thing. Your second win thing, right? Instead yeah. of just oh, no. Yeah, like, yeah. well, Something firing our mega happened. death ray is quite expensive, so let's send in a whole bunch of our troops first and let them get slaughtered. It's like, ah, oh, it didn't work. Win. Okay, bring it out. Would have been great if you would have used the big gun first. <laughs> Could have saved a lot of time well, and effort. Funny you say that, Rags, because they did open with the big gun trying to break open the barrier in that episode, and it turns out the lightsaber could have just done it instantly. So, it was, yep. that was mind boggling. Though. That was amazing. 
Remember how she said they could hold out there for days? So that was yeah, a lie. apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> By days, I mean maybe a, maybe a few minutes, seconds even. She literally cuts it and opens it. It's like, oh, oh, hey, yeah, oh, hey. yeah. Like yeah. They, they were completely confident that they'd be able to fly away in their ship if they could just get the hangar doors open. Because like you know, they they wouldn't have like a star destroyer in orbit like ready to fire on nah. that the moment the doors open. It's like nah, nah, no tie fires, nothing. It's not in the it's... scene, so it's not there. So anyway. Are you guys ready to watch the end of Kenobi? Yeah, let me use the loo real quick and uh, we'll start. I'm not going to permit you to Ooh. use the loo rags. I was wow. going to say, he just left. He didn't even wait for me to approve that. Wow. Yeah. The chamber pots are four rags. Come on. Yeah. So it has to be it has to be approved by you, the um, primary host, as it's on your channel, and me as the manager. Well, and Metal as well, because he's going to drink it, so. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Nothing. There was I a, didn't say nothing at there all. There was a secret, goddammit. Now everybody's gonna hear it. <laughs> Can't wait Look, for those on metal again. piss memes. It's gonna be great. Like <laughs> Rags didn't mute himself. We're just gonna hear him shitting in the background. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh God no! Damn it! It's <laughs> so sharp. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sharp. Ready to have Frenny's, my socks knocked off. Frenny's not got his socks on. All right, we can wait for that. Uh, no, I'm I'm good now. This is it, like, <laughs> I also do not have I socks on. Socks. I don't have socks on. I, I do have socks on. I don't know if this changes the dynamic, but uh, oh. I've got them on. Of course. Seems like an even split, sort of, of socks. So I can take one off. I think so that would help. I think that would help. Oh, okay. Pants or trousers, though. Hmm. That's for no the best. I think. More trousers on. All right. Three, two, okay. one, go. I missed. Big, dun, 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 big ten of nuts. Dun, 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 I genuinely missed the button. We need to try that again. Wait, you actually did? So what happened wait, was like I... you started the countdown, and I was like, "Oh right," and I like had to like desperately move forwards and grab the mouse. And in that time, you'd got to the end of the countdown, and then I rapidly moved towards the button with the mouse, but I wasn't able to hit it. What made you think this was worth telling? That that? Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> you need to do it. people that like if we spent like an hour stuff. lining up for a group photograph, you would have it on selfie mode or something. And, like instead yeah. of saying I misclicked, you feel the need to explain every part of you know, that. No, here's the nature of my misclick. <laughs> Go. Where is he? We did it. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Kenner Bay. <laughs> Kenner Bay. Do not use is, any of our it, orbital cannons or the Star Destroyer. Lock down the facility. Remember when we used to have subtext in scenes? Like, you no. didn't have to literally spell everything out. Look, okay, that was like a decade ago. Maybe several. It is legitimately oh. interesting how long you could just stand in front of a massive group of stormtroopers shooting at you and just not instantly get destroyed by many, many mm -hmm. shots. It is genuinely the thing I wonder. If you had that many and they all shoot once at the same time, is everyone dead? Probably. I think even if we assume in the back there was a ship, I don't think that checks out, like, from the position. No, I mean, Well, he let we... it go away. He let it There's leave. a lot that doesn't check out about that scene. Yeah. It's just so much. Revenge does wonders for the will to live, don't you think? Oh, great. Right, Inquisitor seeing, will be back in this... in this episode. You know what I love seeing in, in shows like this as well? Is, like, people using force powers and abilities that they absolutely can't use, like, ten years later. Yeah. One of the things I, I saw people discussing was, like, will Kenobi finally fight? The Grand Inquisitors, and I was like, I don't know if there's enough time. Yeah. I don't care. It's more so just about trying to see if you can figure out what kind of narrative they're going to run there with. A shelf in this I montage. Thought were, I thought there was a sink in there at one point. Yeah. <laughs> a shelf in a sink. <laughs> Star Wars. Like That's where we're at like with Star Wars. Thing, yeah. Remember I don't know. Here's a lot? shelf. Like <laughs> a sink. The Star Wars shelf. I just, it's I just, just want it's them the to do that. inside of a room from the Star Wars hotel. Yeah. 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 They need to put a, like just a fork in there at some point. Hooray, we're back <laughs> on Tatooine. Oh, well, fuck. no, this is actually good. I'm glad we're back on Tatooine. Well, to be fair, Kenobi ain't gonna be here. This is gonna be um, Owen, right? There's a key nice for the water. Oh, is this, well, this that, the, that guy's rude? It's the meat that's guy. jerk from the first episode. It's, yeah. just, it's so baffling that the one show that should have been entirely on Tatooine is the one that wasn't. What, she, what is, she's here oh, already? She's already here, okay. She put on a... What, what spaceship was a, available for oh, her she's, to escape? She's got a blankie, so that she's... That'll do it. 
Yeah, you're right. What ship did she use? Because how are you alive? She... Well, yeah, that's a fair question. So we we just yeah we've outright skipped all of that. She just yeah. she's on Tatooine right. now, and she's near. Oh, they do give a shit about. Oh boy, Serpentine! Oh, all right, yeah. Serpentine. Now they, like now they remember the Star Destroyer. Now they remember. Serpentine. To be fair, they said at least that they're being chased. That's that's but well, that's, that's all. It's not good enough. The Star no Destroyer stopped dead. them. They're destroyed. Yeah, they yeah. should stop them. Yeah. Use your tractor beam. Use your tie See, fire. Use your many many cannons. The Tantive Four was captured. It wasn't like like this is what is what is going on. And that here, was Empire? a rebel military ship, essentially. We'll head for test. Get you out from there. Oh man, they seem pretty confident about their escape, even though <laughs> like, they really shouldn't be. Yeah, <laughs> pretty chill as well. It's a miracle that you're not destroyed now. Power couplings are bad. I'm working on it, but those shields won't last forever. Won't last forever. They shouldn't last like ten seconds I under that kind of ball. Oh, Star Destroyer focusing its power on you. What? This would be a equivalent of like a, a battleship today, like blasting away at like a, a fucking a little oil tanker with all of its guns, <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, well, we can't take this for more than a couple of days. It's like they've forgotten that. The Falcon tried to escape through an asteroid field, right? It wasn't mm -hmm. just, we'll just float around Down them the for ages and hope. And like, who knows Fucking how long droid. this has been going on for? You can see the misses going past the window. <laughs> <laughs> the explosions. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone should be shitting their pants right now. I should borrow her too. Oh. Yeah. I Maybe really feel not. like this isn't the right tone for the scene. Oh, well, all, all right. We're done with that. Right, yeah. Yeah, hey, there's Owen, the, alright. A siege for a Star Destroyer is something that, you know, that's a multiple scene computer. affair. I've forgotten about him. Remember Luke Skywalker, anybody? Nah. Nope. Man, he's got a grand future ahead of him. Owen, there's something you need to know. Yeah. Wait, if they're warning him about Reva, he's fine, he'll just yeah. leave. Broken. You know this plan makes sense. No, Obi-Wan just described something the in the show as making sense. You're yeah. <laughs> you are the future. You're what needs to survive. No. Bye, Leia. Life needs to be given space. Dude, fuck you off! Fuck you yeah, get, get your hand off of me, or I swear to God, I'll cut it off. Why are you in this episode three fucking times? You must promise me that you get her home, Haja. You have my word. He's entrusted the care of Leia to this guy now. Yeah. That's just okay. The guy who he called a like outright liar in episode three and well, hated. Because, because okay. he saw him as a scam artist. That's well, that too. Doing. Yeah. That was his gig. They should be leaving. The the Empire. If you're told a Sith is after you, then you I need to leave. Cubes. You got to get out yeah, right now. There's not even that. time to pack. Tiny cubes. Oh, I know she's coming. Ben is gone. Whose fault is that? Fucking Bail Organa. Yeah. Bail. Yeah. We need to take, uh, yeah. we need to take yeah. Luke and hide somewhere. Where? I'm not in the desert. I'm not leaving my home. What? Are they? You God damn it! It's your life, woman. I'm not putting anyone else in danger. You need to leave. Where enough. No, you're not. You are literally two civilians against a Sith. Rue, what are you doing? You're fucked. Why is why is they, they're trying to make her out like she's the tri? What? You gonna kill uh, the Sith? She'll come when the suns go down. Best we got position now. What? How do you know that? Why? Why would um, she do love that? I, I, I love her. Just just okay, wait. Can we pause? Because my brain's these, exploding. What the fuck yeah, just happened? <laughs> established. Clearly, she's being portrayed as correct and brave when everything she said is ridiculously stupid and suicidal. Amberu and we'll Uncle Owen have both just been ruined. <laughs> There's so many layers to this that are wrong. The, like this, like I said, my expectation is the f they must have had a failsafe in place. They are holding the sun of like the most dangerous fucking empire person in the entire universe. The second they have any reason to think he knows, they have to leave Tatooine. Like, yeah. that's how it works. Have, Though, yeah. that isn't the failsafe. And you think, okay, so what is it then? He's like, hide in the desert. It's like, Ugh, I'll accept that, even that's though it should something. be- something. Yeah. But then she's like, no, we're better in our house. Excuse me? And she's like, we're gonna fight this sit. Like, this woman needs to be stopped. Like, Owen, you need to, <laughs> you need to tell him. I have a gun and no sense. They don't know what kind of force she's bringing with her either. Like, the, there could be like a legion of stormtroopers yeah. right behind her. Well, yeah, the, we in fact, we know it's just her, presumably. I mean, she's, she's been kicked out. The, all Owen's been told is heart. there's a Sith lady who's been asking questions and is looking for Luke. Yeah, which yeah. means the Sith know, which means you're compromised. You have to leave Tatooine. That's just, you have because no choice. Even, what reason do you have to think that she hasn't told anybody else, like, in the Empire about what she's doing? And who she's looking for. What an it's insane over. scene. Like, yeah. our characters yeah. just conclude the best defense we have is to just allow her to come and we'll shoot her with our blasters. I think this is a pretty prime example of trying to get the scene over and done so quickly that people don't have time to process how dumb it was. 
There was like 30 seconds. It, it was all done screen. just to give her that little hero moment because I guess she's not had any real screen yeah. time in this series. Well, he suggested running away and putting friends in danger. What a what an awful plan. She's the her heroic idea of, of we'll stay here, we'll fight her, and we will win. And it's like, yeah, what? let's die and then we can pay nobody, the price. How come nobody in this show ever has conversations about like utilitarianism or anything or consequentialism, you know, in terms of the nature of what you were trying to protect? That it's kind of more than just like Luke. It's it's like any and all hope that the future will be better for everybody. There's no conversation about how big the stakes really are. It, it's all nothing but an appeal to emotion. Like a character can make some impassioned speech about literally anything, and everyone around them will just go along with it well, immediately, well, it, no matter how yeah, ludicrous everybody, it is. Everybody crumbles in the face of an emotional appeal. Yeah, um, nobody ever has a counter argument that we know mm -hmm. that they would have. It's really annoying when you watch a story and there's this obvious answer to what someone said, and the show just will not let anybody say it. They'll try and move past it as quickly I, as possible, or what will happen is the character who gets rebuked will look and then they'll look to the ground or something although yeah you know they got nothing to open their mouth but they won't say anything when everybody who's watching knows what the like, real he, arguments are. we need owen to say like hey Bru how many sith have you killed just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. is it five or and she's well, just we're gonna like, oh, they're gonna know. make another story they're gonna make another series called baru <laughs> and it <laughs> turns out that she's actually a, a sith hunter yeah. And she was a Jedi the whole oh, time. Because I can't and believe she she's killed many Sith. She's the real hero. Man, you know, and like a new hope, I never got the impression that, that there was a close call when he almost yeah, got found. So what I ask you, do you believe that Aunt uh Aunt Baru and Uncle Owen that they had defended their house from a Sith attack at some point? You'd be like, no. I think it would be, it would be <laughs> no. that they lived a very normal life for nineteen years. Everything was normal. It was completely uneventful. And did you catch as well that she blames him for Obi Wan not being here? What it's like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we have no fucking clue what happened to him. The whole reason she knows that Obi-Wan isn't here is because Owen just said he's not here. Like, the implication being I tried to find him. Mm. So, like, And he's gone fucking fuck around me. somewhere else in space. <laughs> What a the horrible scene. And it's the conversation I was gonna have with Obi-Wan and Bale. Like, thanks guys, thanks a bunch. Like, yeah, I had to fight a Sith Inquisitor. <laughs> oh dude, yeah. I guarantee you they'll never tell him why this happened. They'll be like, oh man, how sad. That, that, that must the suck. Kitchen. They should never, ever, ever think that it's safe to be in Tatooine now. No, of course not. Yeah, they can't um, stay yeah. here. They have to leave. They've been found. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but they we don't know if she told any other Sith. It's like, exactly. We don't know. Yeah, so we're we not going to stay here. And, and you know what? They have a gun. They have a gun. It would be very reasonable to assume that she did tell someone else. Of course. That's, what of course that's the know, default. She's why would she not? Well, because she's a rogue element, but that's rare. That's very yeah. uncommon. Yeah, and that's like, our knowledge. Likely. That's not theirs, you know? That's our knowledge. Exactly. Yeah. They could yeah. learn all that over the course of this episode, which would excuse why they don't leave after this. I don't even they think that's enough, that honestly. I if, if I were reassured by herself, she says, you know what, I'm actually a good guy and I didn't tell anybody, I'd be what like, that's if, uh, what great. If it's not even a matter of whether or not Reva herself 100% would be like, I didn't tell anybody. It's like, yeah, but you're a Sith. There's so many ways they yeah. may have found out as a result of you knowing, or the fact that you're here. Just that, not, 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 yeah, that's, like, everybody has you seen know. you here. That's so, very strange, I'm, I'm, Reva. I am just, I am currently just trying to figure out how bad it is rather than oh it could work no extremely no, it's, it's a catastrophe I, this it's, is what um, i mean i think well, this is why i was so like we need to pause because i think this is incredible damage done in like a minute yeah <laughs> like, uh, aunt fucking baru uh, we were shocked when they ruined <laughs> bail nobody is safe no, aunt nobody. fucking baru just got like <laughs> what an idiot Everybody's I mean, Owen too for this. going along with everyone oh, yeah. in the show gets tainted. Every single person that they bring into these shows gets torn down and made to look like an idiot. It looks like yeah. we've got the rebels are trying to escape. Kenobi's going to draw off Vader and fight him mm -hmm. to save them. And the B plot will be Reva's attack upon uncle, aunt and uncle's little house. I can't believe this is the episode, but apparently that's it. Uh, yeah, this is like the end of Obi Wan Kenobi. Yep. This for is now. the show. It'll probably be season yeah and of course he's baffled he's just like oh i can't he's do anything. baffled i couldn't possibly I'll tell this back. woman that she's wrong and that she's being the most retarded person on the planet right now and talk to her thank you i assume that's what you were doing you're welcome the writers <laughs> couldn't be bothered doing it <laughs> so i had it on the screen you said you'd take me home oh shut the fuck up are they so really gonna fuck off you ungrateful little brat like they... i've risked my life for you countless times but if they have a big what moment he's here trying to do is it's... risk his life for her please tell your father i tried mm -hmm. i guess you did 
I hate you both I so much. <laughs> I have something for you. It's a broken fountain before we got out. Oh, wait, how? It's a holster? Wait, what's that? Yeah, that's the, the lady's holster. I wear it on the other side. It gives me a faster draw. Can you teach me how to shoot? How do you how do you have that? How do you have that? Also, what are you gonna put in there? I guess a gun later. So. Well, that's the that's the meme, right? Everyone keeps talking yeah. about how she's gonna become Leia that we all know. It's empty. Well, I wasn't gonna give you a blaster, Leia. You're ten years old, but you won't always be. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, see, I, there you I go. Welcome <laughs> in there. Why do you just say what she does at the OT at this point? Hey, you're gonna uh, imagine really Leia cool. comes back, Obi-Wan's gone, they're being chased by a Star Destroyer or something. Well, I got this holster. Yeah, this is, this is just the thing that he had on him. It's like... Leia uses blasters in the OT, guys. I don't know if you remember. Oh, I picked boy. This bla I picked this holster up. I feel like I should have just picked this up and kept this with me. Uh, I promise. Oh, no. Look at that. Why do people have to promise things that they can't guarantee? Why can't you just say, I'll try? Why isn't that Well, but also... Enough? Why are you showing so much scenes of emotion between those two when they really don't give a fuck about each other that much in the OT? <laughs> I have to face him, Master. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, this could be it. Oh, whether he dies so many, or I probably. do, whether he dies or I do, this ends today. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. There's a no. whole trilogy. <laughs> How did they not think that line would be funny? <laughs> this ends today. <laughs> You don't have to do this, you know. We can still fix the They're gonna drive. destroy the both of you. How many times have these two characters had this discussion at this point? Wasn't this all that happened yes yesterday? Yeah. Last yesterday. episode, I mean. <laughs> I can't shut it down. Everything runs out of here. Then help us to get her back. You can't quit. I fought for too long. You can't just throw that away. That's suicide. It won't make a difference. They want all of us. Vader wants me. If you surrender, she died for nothing. You wanna tell me how you're gonna fight without a weapon? There are other ways to fight. You don't have to do this, you know. We can still fix the drive. I have to go. Just keep them safe. It's amazing you're alive. Just every yeah. time your ship gets hit, you wonder what they're shooting at you. Party poppers? You really need to upgrade their Star Destroyers, apparently. They're really? Well, you know what? You know what? Maybe the Vader could just fuck it up just instantly using the bad. Force. Why does he do that? I just realized this is the third like, time Kenobi has said, like, I need to stay behind and sacrifice myself so that everyone else can get out. And it never actually happens. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Vader could rip apart the hull with the Force. No, he can't. No, that was just No, that time. was just for... That was just to make all the real Star Wars Wars amazing channels go, ooh, isn't that amazing? Dude, I've seen defenses of that already that the Millennium Falcon and the other ones, they're going too fast. Oh, <laughs> really? Yep, it's the, the cope. Last Jedi the moment! Yeah. There's one life form aboard. That's him. You're well, then just send the TIE Fighters after it. Uh-oh. My lord, we must continue our pursuit of the insurgents. Yeah, do both, you have TIE Fighters. fighters. Just do both, you have loads of ships. Yeah, just do both. Yeah, just, yeah this whole Star Destroyer. Prior, we cannot prioritize one lone Jedi. Other Star Destroyers Jedi. from other parts he of the galaxy. There must be loads of them. Any. He is not just any. Jedi. Send lo you have loads of ships? Why are you uh, doing this? Vader, yeah. pursue him in your fighter. You have a hangar full of TIE fighters. Pursue him in your TIE fighter, Vader. Pursue him in your also, fighter. Also, I could have just yeah. shot it. Oh, yeah, you could have just shot wow. it. Wow. Why can't... Wow. Follow Kenobi. Oh. Wow. Yeah, wow. Wow. The Empire is so fucking stupid. Your own... stupid. Oh. Yep. So that's, that's, man. that's literally the proto-rebellion, and it's it survives because Vader was like, nah, look, it's a little fishy over there. Yeah, it's good. And they're not even going to be able to get Kenobi. No, they won't. No, they can't. They literally can't. Fuck me, dude. Go. That's so embarrassing. It's the Jesus most Christ. incompetent at... military force in all okay, of fiction. Wait. I'm actually kind of confused because if Kenobi has hyperdrive, oh, he could just leave now. But he, but if he doesn't, then he's gonna get captured. So what's gonna happen? The Tuscans are on the hunt again. They're raiding farms along the waist. So stay in here. If anything goes wrong, you you know what to do. You run. Run? Yeah, no, you're not supposed to run. Remember, running is not what we do. Wait, that's the plan. If these two die, just run. Really? Oh, that'll help. <laughs> Black fucking useless dead, parents. Dead, Jesus Christ. They Man. should, what they should do, they're not even doing anything. Oh, this door will stop them. They're yeah. not doing anything clever like making Send it look like they left. I just, and I, then can't, hiding. I can't believe we're gearing up for an Aunt Brew, Uncle Owen action scene. I can't believe this is yeah. happening. Where, where are we? Is this just Tatooine? Just a so, oh, wow. Well, we the place. Yeah. Lucky there's a Moron. planet, I guess. There's oh, just a planet here, because in space you just run into those. He just said, prepare my ship. Yeah. Oh, he got to the planet. So I why didn't you just okay. take your own ship out and chase him while everyone else yeah. does the rebel thing? Man. I guess wow. he just got away. The writing just says he got away. And there you because go. Because of course we can't have Vader land with a bunch of stormtroopers. It has to be him alone. Because otherwise the scene will be fucked. Because yep, we want to have those 
So what's the oh, so hell, you, oh there's a ship that they could have used to pursue him. They, yeah. Dude, they literally are making the Empire just wait while they have their scene instead of having them chase <laughs> the rebels. That's amazing. <laughs> An entire Star Destroyer just sitting up there doing uh, nothing. Indeed you are powerful as the Emperor has foreseen. Prepare my ship. Why is the oh, stupid it's robot? It's the merchandise. Here. Please buy why, a product. Yeah, why did why did you steal Leia's toys? What's no, the I point? Put it in there, does, I he, guess. I don't know. does he think the track is still active? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not red anymore. Yeah, it's not evil. That's so fucking funny. It's blue and blue is good, like lightsabers, and red is bad. By the way, in terms of getting us to the point where they could have their big, big duel, it's like, well, there's a planet, and then they both landed on it. <laughs> okay. It's like, basically it. Ship, blew him up. It's like, man, you, such bother. talent. Oh, here we go. Now, Dude, I want Uncle Owen here? and Aunt Beru to have Why lightsabers. Are they not Come on. Here, where she's like out in the open and out in the like, open. No cover. Yeah, they, this is probably the best time to. Oh, God. Is that, is that your position you wanted to take? Is it bad? She really wants away? Is it bad that so I actually really think there's a chance kill... they will show her chop those two in half? <laughs> so, <laughs> what is the motivation to try and kill Luke? Why is she? Why I was, is that that's what wants? I was asking. Uh, why does she want to kill Luke so much? Yeah, because she doesn't know exactly who he is yet, right? She, she just wanted to revenge against some... Vader. That was her yeah, motivation. She, she, she doesn't actually want to well, hunt Jedi. She just did that to get at Vader. Well, so I was going to say, so why maybe, does she wanna, yeah. maybe the motivation could be I'll kill Vader's son, but she doesn't know that's who Luke is, right? No. No, yeah, of course as far she, as she knows, How could it's she? Just And besides, kid what would that even do to Vader to? when he doesn't even know? Yeah, Vader <laughs> like, yeah, imagine her just going back to Vader like, you had a son. He's I killed now. him. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what, like, Uncle Owen asks. He's like, why are you here? And she goes, uh, I, I don't know. Dude, and she I just screams at him, know. I don't know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. if, she, if she did actually kill them both and like Luke oh. wakes up the next day and he's just got like a different like uncle and aunt <laughs> it's okay. like they've just walked someone else in this is like, our this chance is, this is your family now this is a chance for actual dialogue come on oh, you can boy. do it oh I wish I could burn you here <laughs> Have you come to destroy me? What? You're the one that arrived you here! here. You what the fuck? Here. <laughs> I will you do what I must. Did it, what? That line didn't make any sense at all. Uh, <laughs> Have you no, come no, to destroy me? Dead. What? You <laughs> arrived! Vader, are you senile? <laughs> oh god, here we go. They did the Kenobi oh, stance, though. Look, yeah. <laughs> they are a big, flat, open plane. So underwhelming. Yeah, and the camera's gonna like, be cutting even, all the time, moving even around. Even if I was invested in the series, this fight seems underwhelming in, like, the way it's presented. So shaky, and I can't it, see it, the real shit parts. Fun, <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah, barely yeah. see <laughs> That was necessary. But if you can't the see, they don't have to work on choreography. Good. The soundtrack is, uh, yeah. It's, it's trying. Some... Generic action music, really. The problem is that when they're fighting the prequels, the music, man. The music <laughs> is incredible. <laughs> Yeah. Well, they have access to all that music. No. Well, they don't because John Williams only did the uh, the main uh, theme for this show, but the well, score. But the, the, I was the I was kidding. The they probably do have access to it. They probably have access oh, yeah, to like sure. to that to like those songs though. Like they could. Ah, uh, but them they they anything. probably still said like, nah, I'd make a new one. Or she maybe starts going. To make a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Owen. Uncle Owen. Oh, you had one job. You, you had missed. one job. You had so one fucking job, Owen. Awesome, shot. Man, you should have positioned yourself that one is on the left and one on the right. So you have Man, to she, right, they right. are lucky she's not using the force to kill them right now. And that she's deflected none of the shots back into them. It's almost well, like they have... We'll stop her. It's almost right. like they have literally infinite plot armor. Like, they cannot be killed in this scene. Every character except Reva has that right way. now. Pretty much, yeah. Which means Reva's dead this episode. Woohoo. What if Aunt Beru kills her? <laughs> With, with her own lightsaber. The Lord. Whoa, the way he was holding the lightsaber there was a bit awkward. It's a shame they weren't very good against a bunch of stormtroopers and they got fucking burnt up. What was that? Oh, oh. And now we're reading from Wikipedia. After Vader's injuries, his natural strength was augmented by the addition of his cybernetic enhancements. In addition, Vader retained his proficiency in the Force to enhance his physical abilities. In the end, 
He was a more effective warrior than he had ever been before Kenobi had maimed him. Your strength has returned. Oh, thanks. I held back the ocean a few episodes ago just so we're good. Yeah. But the weakness still remains. Wait, the weakness still remains. Wouldn't you just say the weakness remains? Yeah, that's yeah. what's remaining is. It's really still there. Oh, did they? Is the were they trying to do a pullback to that move in the Phantom Menace there? Wall, I slipped. <laughs> I mean, your your feet, your ankles are destroyed. You just yeah. got a yeah. Rock that was a rock. And that is why you will always lose. <laughs> How did you, um, there was a cave? Really how do you know there was a cave there or whatever? Oh, how did fucked. you know that? Unless that was actually ground, in which case, holy <laughs> Is he fuck. Gonna say I have the high ground. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. okay. I can't wait for oh, the you video see, on Kenobi. Steve. Now, now right? Darth Vader has the oh, high what? ground. This I'm is sorry, a callback. I'm sorry, what? Uh, so, so Kenobi's uh, dead then? Or? So Kenobi's dead. Yeah, so Kenobi is dead. Like, Kenobi is a puddle of goo. Did you truly think that you could defeat me? Oh, what a great fucking line. <laughs> Did you think you could really defeat me? You have failed, master. So unfair that they get to have Vader deliver this garbage. <laughs> So yeah, that's the ending. Can okay. Oh, credits. Nice. Awesome. Thank fucking Christ. So this is an oh God. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh well, rip. Oh yeah, you should have done that earlier. You really, really love the boy. That's all parents no, if generally. Him, if you left him, he would have left. Like he's your own. He is my own. I like that line. Yeah, me too. That's the one good thing in this whole show, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Damn. How is he alive? <laughs> okay. But like that swing hit her. He was able to do it. What do you want? Justice. There you go. She. Oh wow. Well, I can't oh, believe oh, oh, Uncle oh. Owen is like taking on a Sith and using <laughs> it unironically. Un Uncle, oh, there you go. God. There you go. She couldn't do any permanent damage. Oh, we still got our Baru left. Come on, baby. You can get it. Shoot a straight in the face. Oh. oh. What so you're dead. So oh, she didn't kill either of them. No, she sure. didn't kill her. Okay. Uh, also, Rags, just uh, in case you missed it, uh, he did say, what are you doing or why are you here or something? And she said justice. Oh. What? Justice. What? Justice, justice for what? I justice. don't have any I don't fucking... even understand. Oh, she's screaming. She's screaming. <laughs> she go get you. Uh, so, Luke, uh, run, remember Luke. that plan about running away? <laughs> it's okay. It's going to actually okay. work. He can waffle. just run away. Yeah, yeah, he'll he'll, he'll be faster than her because she's, yeah, she's all injured and Children stuff. Children are faster than adults. I love that he poked yeah, her in a literal gaping <laughs> hole in her chest. Uh, Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon. Where are you? Yeah, this would be another on. good time It'll for Qui-Gon, It'll be like the, um, the Spider-Man Homecoming yeah. scene. I am Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I am all the boys. Oh, we're getting voices. You cannot run. Oh, it's the voices from this season. No, thank you. No, those were into the set. There's some, some, yeah. Yeah, you made me. Another great line. Where are you, Qui Gon? It's all about Leia. Yeah, he's got to do it for Leia. Please, oh, they threw a, a vision of Luke. Oh, there was, it's oh, mainly there. Leia. Oh, God. Yeah. It's not really about Luke, because they don't have any fucking footage of Luke. <laughs> yep. They got some. I'm like, actually surprised that it wasn't Qui-Gon. Not Qui-Gon, yeah, yeah. That would have been a really good time to bring him. Not Hang on. Yet, no. I was gonna, well, this, he's about to beat him, surely. So we're, we needed Qui-Gon so. before he beats him. Yeah, of course. <laughs> if we're gonna have him, which funny if he beats him and then Qui-Gon shows up. Like, I was with you the whole time. <laughs> Where it are was, you? It was me that beat him. <laughs> you have a free hand there. He could have killed him. He could have killed, killed him. Yep. Ouchie. How are you winning? Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Remember how Yoda Wait, struggled? Oh, Bert, this is Darth right fucking there. Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader can handle this. Why oh is my he... god! What are you doing? Oh, no. oh, at Those you. are boulders. There's, There's so much him. wrong with this. Dude. Vader should be able to handle it, but he's also. This god is just damn a it. Planet where the rocks are made of like paper. Sandstone. Yeah. I think he was breaking them with the force. I don't. Um, I don't think so. They were hitting him. I think he was breaking. Yeah, it looks like he's hitting him. 
god, that's way worse. If... Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Well, Vader initially... should be able to force, you know, like Matrix style, stop can... them in midair. But like, yeah. he just I mean, got he pelted rip by them. Apart. Yeah, what the fuck? You kind of st they had him pulled out a spaceship. Like, what? Remember when Yoda struggled to stop some little rocks from falling on yep. him, and he was Master Yoda? Remember the grunt he made? Well, we gave up with that ages ago. Yeah. We're in the we're in the Ray Skywalker saga well, it's now. It's too late because Kenobi's got to win now. Oh, Wait, shit. did you just hit him with the butt of the lightsaber? So I just want the form of fighting and the role of the Jedi Knight to be special and more spiritual and uh, more intellectual than just a, a fighter or a superhero or something like that. Yes, he did. He hit him. He hit him. Still doing oh, it. How did it do so much damage? Hear, uh, it'll be Hayden Christensen voice soon. How were you not dead from that? That's a wow. Rock. Vader's get Wow. Oh, we got slashed in the back. Wow. Oh, Vader, you suck the, now, huh? Breathy, breathy zones. I guess Obi-Wan's just really dominating now. <laughs> this is literally just to justify the line in New Hope where yep. he described himself as the learner. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna see his face. Uh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. So this is one thing I saw written down somewhere was that they ripped off Rebels. Which is funny. Uh, oh, really? It's their own content. But yeah, the, 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 the Ahsoka Vader scene, this literally this happens. So what is the excuse for Obi-Wan not killing Vader going to be? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, time for yeah, dialogue. I let you okay? I let you live that first time, and boy, that worked out well. Yeah, I'm lucky it didn't slice his face off as well. Anakin. You're ugly as fuck. Anakin's gone. You see all the Star Wars yeah, people creaming their pants. Yeah, his voice, huh? Oh, look, he's acting. He's trying. He's acting. <laughs> he's certainly acting. I'm sorry. Sorry Aww, for what? Aw, that makes me feel bad. I'm sorry, Anakin, for all of it. Is Palpatine's name gonna come up ever? Thanks for reminding me of what we could have had. Failure. Mm -hmm. Obi -Wan. I am not your failure, Obi-Wan. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did. Ugh, I did. The same way, I will destroy you. And my friend is truly dead. There you go. Yeah. We'll kill him then. Yeah, yeah. You, really, you really should kill him. The last time you let him live, that was a horrific mistake. Uh, Goodbye. Darth. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, you're boy. just walking what away? You, you're what? letting him live? He's letting no, him live. Obi-Wan, no! Obi Wan, that guy, that guy's gonna kill a lot more kids. It's all Obi Wan's fault. Yeah. You remember what happened the last time you let him live? He just like confirmed I'm evil, evil. <laughs> and you just walked away. What the fuck, Obi Wan? The the destruction of Obi Wan. You can never just have like one scene that isn't marred by something. You just can't. Yeah. I have to say, acting. they, they were, were really acting. acting. Yeah, they yeah. were acting. Oh, they yeah. were some, I, I like what they wanted to do there with. But they fucked it up. What, yeah, they did because he let him live. Let him, man. They I, even I, had I him say, know. Darth. I don't know. They oh. even had him say that you're, yeah, you're Darth Vader. You're not my friend. I could. I feel like we could have aimed. Friend live. We could have aimed better than them just ha stating at each other their. You no, of um, course. Yeah, no, I, I, I want to make it clear. I am only complimenting the acting. I don't like any bit, anything else, really. Guys, Reva's trying to get Luke Skywalker. Did she just... Uh... Oh, good. Yeah, Obi-Wan. Good job, dude. It's all Obi-Wan's fault. So, Luke Skywalker has been... Someone used the Force on Actually him. Actually encountered somebody who used the Force on him, yeah. Because of Obi-Wan. Nice. How are you going to get there in time? He's There's not. no way you can get there. <laughs> it takes time to cross the galaxy. It, no, it takes going to be there in time. It's fine. He's going to have to be knocked out. Otherwise, this will make no fucking sense at all. Yeah. We've been doing, we, we've oh, been there doing you go. so okay. many. Oh, he is knocked out. Okay. Yeah. We've been doing so many weird time skips and uh, place skips. He's going to be there in time. It's so I like funny. Is it? that he needs to be knocked out to make sense. It's like, yeah, not like all that other shit. <laughs> <laughs>
Look, it's me. It's like me. Yeah, you're not gonna kill. They're gonna have to show like why? Her seeing why her why? because why? they she can't. Have oh my god, they did it! Oh yeah, my yeah, god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh man! Oh, they I'm flash the back that too. Maybe no, no. I'm the bad one. They flash back as well. <laughs> why is she doing this? What's yeah, why? This, this, like, <laughs> we have no motivation for her to even kill him in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know who he is. She's literally, we're, we're seeing her make the decision not to kill a child for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a great moment. That's amazing. Like, wow, like it's a shock here. to us yeah. that she wouldn't want to kill yeah. this child. It's like, isn't that normal? <laughs> oh, they fucked that up too. He's like, oh shit, 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 oh fuck, 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 fuck. God, you guys have so much explaining to do to each other. Yeah. All right, he's not, he's not around here. He ran, you, like you told him to. Also, you both are alive miraculously. Yeah, she just kind of pushed us over. I don't know. We're looking for him, you fucking idiot. Fucking okay, no, hell, compare the... They get visited by a Sith, and they're fine. They get visited by stormtroopers, and they get literally incinerated. <laughs> she carried yeah, him back. Yeah, timing. Look at this. Is she gonna timing. die of her wound? Yep, because she doesn't be it. have revenge anymore. Yeah, that'll be yeah. it. Because because like nobody can kill her here. Obi Wan wouldn't have to kill Darth Vader, so he can't kill fucking anybody anymore. Right, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't show her die, so that we can be like, hmm, where did she end up? You know, Ooh, I don't know. Hmm. Reva, oh, a Star Wars. Story. If only there was a yeah. mod parlor on Tatooine. I found this boy. All right. <laughs> explain, you know explain your arc, Reva, because I ain't following. Yeah. I'm kidding, by the way. I swear to God, if she said he's me or some shit. <laughs> well, guaranteed. People are gonna cream over this. They already are. Jesus Luke. There are no I've, I've only yeah. seen bad stuff about this episode so far. Oh, Even wow. From normies. I've seen good stuff. <laughs> oh. Yeah, pull him away Thanks from her, by the way. Him. Drag him away. Take, take him away. Is she, is she's Dean. Yeah, good? Yes. You're an <laughs> asshole, leave. by the way. <laughs> like, yeah, what the like fuck you. is wrong with you? And, and like, she's sitting there like, I did the, the good thing, right? And they're like, yeah, right. sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's crying. Oh, oh. Boo -hoo. Kenobi, look fuck. after her. Give her a pep talk. Where's um, Qui-Gon? We've got, like, 20 minutes to go. Yeah. That's true. We've got a lot of episode left. I couldn't do it. Not this time. I don't know why you'd want to. No. Why would you want to, though? Well, you who? failed who? He killed them all and I couldn't do it. Wait, what? What? Okay. what? Oh, she's saying I failed the, her friends or what? By showing mercy, <laughs> you have given them peace. Not really. You Not really. They should be really concerned. They probably got stress, mm -hmm. PTSD, you know? Yeah, they, they yeah. showed up to your house at night and with the red lights. Have I become him? No. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's You've not. not you're to. pretty evil. No, you've chosen not to. You've chosen yeah. not to become Vader. Oh, this is so well done that you can just see uh, what the writers wanted to say. Who you become now, it is up to you. Is she just gonna leave and disappear? Probably. Or they can do fall stuff over. Later? Please yeah, they might fall do over. Fall over. Show. Fall she's over. Show. I beg you, fall over and die. I don't think that's what's happening here, actually. I think I, I think, think she's, she's fine. Live. She'll get a show. Fall over. Yeah, she does. Yes. She doesn't. Yes. No. Uh, 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 oh. 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 I love how desperate we are to see her die. Like, run, <laughs> fall, fall. Oh, she's doing the Kylo Ren being... thing, where it's like, this is my evil weapon, so I can't have it anymore. Why is it that people think that if a character has confused motives and keeps, like, changing their mind, that that makes them complex? Like, why is that the interpretation of characters like this in Star Wars? Now you're free. You just like said Kylo she's free. We both are. We both are. She's, she's, both are. she's gonna come we back. She'll be in are. season two, if there is one. Oh, she'll we'll probably be in season I'd or something. Oh, she didn't die. Oh, no. God damn it. I'm Another so happy villain that survived. murderous... I'm so surprised we haven't seen Qui-Gon. Maybe he'll be the last thing that we see. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oh Sorry, god, Emperor? 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 We will destroy, Is it he in? will destroy everything in our path until he is found. There he is. You seem oh. agitated. <laughs> oh, and I'm pretty sure that is him. He will not be Sounds like him. Again. I think he always wants to play this character, right? Oh, and I love him for it. Perhaps your feelings for your old master have left you weakened. Kenobi means nothing. Kenobi My means master. nothing. It's like, we know that's not true, Vader. <laughs> You kind of went nuts earlier. Okay, bye! Is, it, uh, is, this, like, is this just Kenobi. his living room? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty it excessive, a, a huh? a flat screen that descends from the ceiling so I can play Xbox. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Time to pwn some noobs in Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, you can play Fortnite with I was Thor. About to say Battlefront, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, what the fuck is the rest of this episode full with? Like, yeah, it's so like... we gotta wrap up our Alderaan stuff, I guess. So this they're is gonna like spend standing. like 15 minutes on aftermath. It's like, how about spending that yeah. on the fucking story? <laughs> no, no. Like, yeah, or a the conversation. Just sort of like it ended as fast as possible. It was like, hey, here's two fights, and now it's over. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, like, I could not envision a simpler ending from where we left off in episode five. Wow. Well, you're weird. not doing- you didn't do anything. Did you, did, yeah, they tried anything to make it look like that. she was using a code. That was <laughs> funny as well. You didn't to brush your hair. You could actually do that. Or you don't have to do anything. You look, could just host, not do uh, it. By the way, she doesn't even know what those tally marks mean. It was, uh, Why Tala do you have a fucking Obi holster on? <laughs> you're not wearing those. What the it, fuck? This, this is the sign that she's empowered now. She's gonna become Leia in the OT. Leia in the OT had a gun, remember? So of course oh. she has a holster, you fucking idiot. Bam, 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 bam. Makes complete sense. People wearing that holster. fucking clothes every day of their life. <laughs> I love it. Life. Love it? You can't let her go out there wearing a holster. Those are designed to carry firearms. Also, she's a child. Yeah, and without knowing the context of why she's wearing it, shouldn't you be like, holy fuck, have you been playing with guns? Get that thing hmm. off, Jesus. Do they let you have a gun on this planet? Why do you have uh, those gloves on and those boots? Thanks for almost killing all of my new friends. Like I was right. Yeah, not mm. with a holster from a ten-year-old. Man, Bale, you almost killed a whole family. How about that? You said there were many ways to lead. Looks like I was right. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to want to change a few things. Ten, you're not doing anything. When you're of age. They cannot resist <laughs> the nostalgia line. He's so great. More cousins? Not exactly. Oh, this, mm -hmm, this you is, left Tatooine again this, after what just happened. You this left motherfucker, Tatooine again? you are a oh god. Look at that god. Oh god, the amount of people that could see this and know uh, you're like the most wanted Jedi in the fucking universe. No, no, no. The, 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 there's stormtroopers here. They're they're looking everywhere for you. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, can you please just protect He's Luke for once? No. Glad to see you too, Leia. I fear for her future. The Empire grows stronger. No. Yeah, you shouldn't be. Oh, actually, no, true, them. actually, because the Empire gets competent briefly <laughs> soon. Also, we have these timelines here behind us. They like, get their shit together for a couple of years. It's like, man, this, <laughs> this is, is really a very really public place, well. just so we're clear. A these lot of gods. people are probably watching. You don't know this. how loyal those gods are. They've those seen Obi Wan like, Kenobi. Holy fuck, is that Obi Wan Kenobi? Holy uh. shit. Like, the people that we kind of actually work for want him. So what do you do now? If Not go you... to Tatooine. That would be crazy. By the way, if ever you refer to me on a recording, make sure to mention we're not friends and then. You're just your dad's friend, right. is what I am. When I said before that I didn't know your parents, careful, uh, Ooh, uh. Princess Leia Organa, you are wise. Oh, oh god, so discerning, oh. Oh, kind hearted. Why you are things? smart and funny. <laughs> <laughs> These are qualities that came from your mother. Careful, and you're really you're annoying. Also. That was from your father. Liar! You knew my mother, <laughs> but you're also passionate. And fearless, forthright, and child murdery. Oh look, there's the one that was encased in amber. Now this is pod racing. Hang on, he, he is not going to tell. He is not going to tell her that Anakin was fearless. And these are gifts from your father. I, I, the, the whole like you gave into his anger, fear. Yeah, that's the Jay, whole. Jay, we'll just. He's lying. We'll just say that it's fine. <laughs> You know my real parents? Could you tell me about them? Who were they? What were their names? I wish I could tell you more. It's okay. You don't have to. Oh, see, she's fine. She doesn't She doesn't want to know anymore. Oh, there you okay. go, Rack. It's fine. More. <laughs> the oh, child okay. doesn't want to well, know that's, more. That's all right, then. All right. That wraps that up in a neat little again? bow. Mm -hmm. Will I ever see you again? Oh, oh, oh. Maybe. Oh. Someday. We, we want to keep the door open for sequels. Man. But we must be careful. No one must know. Or it could endanger us both. Oh, oh is that it? Is that, is That's that why line? I left Vader alive. Well, him saying no one, no must, one know must know that we're friends is, is probably trying to explain why she doesn't refer to him as a friend. Except it doesn't explain that why doesn't make any sense still. be that upset at all, though, when he dies. <laughs> and also, and also her message that, like, to him that he saved would... her. Well, so, yeah, dude, yeah but, he's in danger yeah. the second she names him on that transmission. It doesn't matter how friendly they are. I mean, these two should be in prison anyway. Like, all of you guys are fucked. The, yep. the Empire knows about all of this. I'm just amused that they actually did think to themselves, like, ah, sits perfectly in canon. It's like, <laughs> this breaks idiots. almost everything. This is so uncanon, it's uncanny. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, uh, considering all of this, when he died, Leia should have been distraught. Yeah, she should have been yep. very upset. 
More so than Luke, really. There wasn't anything you could have done. This is iconic outfit. Look, where's where where's uh Qui-Gon? Has he, Qui -Gon? Has he said he? hello there yet, or have I missed it? I don't yeah, think he, he said it yet. Because I, I don't want to be lied to. There. He best say hello there so I can laugh. The, sh the show is gonna close on him saying goodbye there. <laughs> you're leaving your you're leaving your box. <laughs> He's not taking his box with him. Jawas are gonna steal it. They love boxes. Yeah, you know Jawas. I don't want to racially profile, but we know Jawas. Oh no. Responsible for forty percent of the time on tattooing. They're not gonna talk at all, are they, about um what's happened, dude? Yeah. Uncle Owen should have so many fucking things to say to Obi-Wan right now. Yeah. You have no idea. Like, oh god, think of the criticisms. <laughs> That's the creature that farts and finds the man. <laughs> Good. Correct, nice. that is. It might be the exact same one. He's such a fun little desert camel, space right. camel. Are you, are you, are that's you one of the creatures that farts and finds a man. I thought you were going to keep your distance. Well, I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't you desperately you want me to help right. you? Uh, guess that it's fine. You know you were right. He just needs to be a boy. Okay. But that's bad, I think. Isn't that what was happen. happening anyway? The future will take care of itself. Oh, is this his way of saying I won't try to train him? The only protection he needs now, Owen, is you. Not sure that's true. Yeah, yeah you guys can If anything, the... we have learned he desperately they needs you defending him, Obi-Wan. Yeah. yeah, the Empire could show up tomorrow with everything they know. They, mm -hmm. They're probably on their way. I can't believe be they've honest. ignored that. They shouldn't be living here anymore. You're a terrible parent. And you're a terrible <laughs> Jedi. You all, you all suck. Everyone's oh no, terrible. the creature. Oh, the CGI was not matching itself. Ugh. Ben? Ooh, that was bad. Ben? You wanna meet him? Mm, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. Oh god, this is where he's gonna do it, isn't it? Oh, this could be it. Yeah, you're right. He's gonna say it. My guy's gonna say it. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have to use so the hard. Simpsons clip if he says it. Absolutely. I'm, ex I'm actually excited, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 here we go. Say the line! Kenobi. Hello there. Yeah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said, he said the, the thing. thing. He said the thing. How That's how it ends. Wow. All right, but, but you know what? Wait, Less is more. Thank God. So five minutes left. Qui -Gon yeah, where's Qui Gon? I'm surprised. We still got. Hey, I mean, we still hey, got five minutes. Could, we still got, was there we got like yeah. two minutes left. Yeah. Could happen. Yeah, but I guess. You won't be encouraging him to fight anybody. I thought he would have been oh, a no, second no. act low point thing, but all right. Well, maybe this will be him training him to force ghost, you know? How could, you, how could a force ghost train you how to access force ghost? Oh, 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 oh he just showed up. Oh, wow. Oh, there that's, he is. Okay. Wow. That's not, okay. Like, when he's absolutely not needed anymore. Is it Liam Neeson? It's got it. They, they'll be able to get Maybe him. it's Haldir. Well, took you long enough. That uh, is him. Yeah. Hey. Well, oh, hey. Mike, I used to think you'd never come. Uh, come. I was always here, Obi Wan. You just were not ready to see you. Okay. Come on, you've got a ways to go. Wait, that, that's it? Really? Uh -huh. wow, wow, he was okay. in it. He, was, wow. he, he, he didn't even. Okay, then. That none of that is meaningful. Day. That was nothing. That was shit. That was like legitimately That's, awful. That might be one of the key examples of key jangle I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Qui -Gon look, Qui Gon. Look, yeah. it's Qui Gon. <laughs> and he said, "We gotta go." <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Why bother? Holy fuck! That cost. You had Jesus. access what a, to, uh, Qui -Gon, you, to Liam Neeson's Qui Gon Jedi. You used fuck it for you, that. Hell of people. Why? Oh, Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> United him with David. Why? With David? Who the fuck is David? I said, I said, I said David by mistake instead of Vader. <laughs> Darth David. Why? What? We, there what was a two... pile of shit. Remember that the, when he was alone in the ship, that would have been the time to bring in Qui Gon. And then it's yeah, like absolutely. when he was buried by the boulders. Okay, you could bring in Qui Gon. There. No, we'll put him right at the end. He'll say, "Let's go." Let's go. <laughs> what? Why would we? And it was your fault I didn't show up earlier. What was the point Why of that? It's just Jangle keys. But they well, didn't like, have was, to! <laughs> but it people like... who like this shit don't care, Mahler. I don't understand I... why you'd waste that. Why wouldn't you bring him in? for something that's relevant to the story, like a character arc or something, oh. you know? Fring, I cannot so believe. Much, so much you could have done with this. We were all convinced he would come in to to give Obi-Wan that last bit of pep talk. Yeah, because of talk. course, that's how stories work. Of course, that's work. what you do. Because of course, that's yes, what you I, would uh, do. I find, I, Fuck you, this Jimmy show, uh, that I, every, I, man, oh. I'm not happy with this. Squandered yeah, every wait. last is piece. There, is, is there, there gonna a be a after scene? credit thing? No. What a waste. What a waste. It was you a waste. You had the actors. You had all the money that you needed. You had everything that you needed. You had everything. And you and you did nothing with it. You did you did less than nothing. You actively did a great deal of harm to A New Hope, to Vader, to fucking Aunt Beru. I mean, Nobody escaped. In this, in this show, uh, didn't. Yeah, everybody who I was like, has a story, yeah. you know, elsewhere has been 
damage except for Qui-Gon, I guess. You know when you said like, <laughs> oh well, I guess Qui-Gon's not sure. Like when I said like, oh, there's two minutes left, I was like joking. I didn't think they'd actually just throw him in right I at the end. So, mm -hmm. so I, I, I think I was like, oh man, I was so sure with that prediction. <laughs> Damn. Luke Skywalker then, needed a double. It, it's the said... most blase kind of delivery and the most like generic dialogue you could give him. It's just like, yeah, I was here the whole time. You it's just weren't like ready. They... Anyway, let's go. Uh, like, yeah, it's your it fault that across, I didn't show up. It comes across to me that they didn't know that they were going to get him. And then late, like after they'd finished writing the whole show, they're like, yeah, no, we, we got we got Liam Neeson. Had so many like, moments oh, that they oh, could shit. just easily like, fit him in. You could have easily well, yeah, fit him into that, that ship ghost. scene. And it would have been... He's a little ghost. It would have been just good. Put yeah, it would have been it would have been what what uh, could have been the thing to push Obi -Wan, over the edge instead of. Oh, so like to be clear, because if anybody out there is just like, well, what could they? Do? It's like, so why we needed the scene where Qui Gon, his master, tells him it wasn't your fault. I know you think it was exactly. But it wasn't your that fault. That should be a great part of this show: is Obi Wan feeling a level of guilt and then realizing it's it. You can't do everything. It's not my fault. He was seduced by the dark side. A lot of crap happened. I need to I need to focus on the future. I need to move forward. I have a job to do. No time for moping. Let's get shit done. I thought that's what they'd set up. So many of these these little <laughs> missed opportunities. Like, you know that scene early on when Obi-Wan's walking through the desert and he sees Anakin like in a robe just standing off in the distance, like a kind of ghostly yeah. vision of him. It's like that's that's kind of cool. You know, you could do things with they that. They never did that again. <laughs> yeah, they never did it again. It was just like this one little blink of a creative idea that just happened for a moment and then it flickered out. You know, and there, there's just stuff like that where you have these great opportunities to do something interesting and the show never takes them. I get baffled by their choices to tell stories when some of this stuff seems so textbook almost to me. Because this isn't subversion where they do it the complete opposite and infuriate you. They're like, instead of that rousing speech that Qui-Gon could give, that would give you an insight into how Qui-Gon felt about Anakin, how he feels about how everything's rolled out, and how he feels about Obi-Wan, and what their relationship currently is. It's like, no, instead he'll say hi and let's go. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I guess that's not the opposite, but that's nah. nothing. It's nothing. Is this, is this just baiting season two? Like, the that Qui-Gon's uh, going to be more heavily involved in Season 2. And, if you they know, do a Season 2, right. that'll be true, but... I know they're I, up for I it. Like, you're they are, yeah. The, there's more rumors now than there were about a Season 2. Fucking, apparently Kathleen Kennedy has said, if the fads really want a Season 2, is a second... Yeah, because, of course uh, the fucking fads I'm last pretty, for a Season 2. pretty sure this show is, like, one of the most successful shows on Disney+, Plus. like, period. But that was never so in doubt? Marvel's like... Do they not realize yeah, how much fuck. people love Obi Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader? Well, no, because our, uh, he's a boring character. <laughs> Oh, fuck no, off. no. <laughs> I wish um, that was the only negative thing I could say about Obi Wan, I, uh, but he's like I, thoroughly ruined now. It was it was mentioned earlier that what what exactly is like the inspiration for the story? You kind of walk away from this show thinking that like, what was your interest in telling a story about? Obi-Wan that this is what we ended up with. It why, wasn't. Why was the, this the story you wanted? The, the, the interest was in telling Reva's story, but they knew they couldn't get it off the ground because nobody would give a fuck about her. And so it's like, what can we build this around in order to, to get people's interest? Ah, we'll just use Obi-Wan. We'll cannibalize the rivalry between Obi-Wan and Anakin. Ostensibly make a show that's about them, but really it's about this new character that we've created. She I, doesn't have like that much screen. Like she has yeah. like a normal villain yeah, amount really of screen doesn't. time. If she was a great, I, really well realized character, we wouldn't be complaining that the show was like think, gave her a lot of time as well as Obi-Wan. Because it's not like Obi-Wan gets uh, uh, no time. It's just that what they do with him is horrible. I would have frustrations it, about it if they still had like barely any uh, him time. Because I'd be like, what the fuck? Aren't we getting in, more? In terms, yeah, I mean, in terms of who's driving the action and who's kind of dictating the events of the plot, it does feel like Reva. Like for the most part, Obi Wan doesn't have that much agency. He just kind of goes where the plot takes him, and he just That's reacts to things that. that happen so like he's not the driving force behind it that's this is what makes well, me thing. think that he's but, just um, kind of an observer and he's just there to be the figurehead for it obi-wan should never have been like the driving force uh that incites a plot between revenge of the sith and new hope he should be a reacting force with his main motivation being protecting loot that's yeah what i mean need. he i guess what i mean is like yeah he he shouldn't incite whatever happens but then once things do start happening he should at least be able to like yeah. make decisions and influence the course of events and yeah. and be proactive be, or he's not he should be a very active force in ending the story right like his entire goal throughout the story should be to end it the thing is is that the story <laughs> itself has very little to do with what 
is his ultimate mission, and that we know is his ultimate mission that was tasked to him in Revenge of the Sith and concludes in A New Hope. Well, and then I guess goes on until Return of the Jedi, which is about ensuring that Luke can uh, become a Jedi and destroy the Empire, restore balance to the Force. That's like his... That's that's what he's about at this point in time. But the story that they've chosen to tell about him, as far as I can tell, the arc is, I'm not competent. No, I am competent. That's that's like the story. Yeah. Um, it has nothing to do with and Luke. We still though. don't really Force... know why he became incompetent. He's just like, yeah. oh, I lost touch, and then he doesn't. Well, if I'm going to be as generous as I possibly can, the Force arc seems to just be he was cut off from it because he had so many doubts about what he's done and blah, blah, blah. But then he spoke to Tala, and she explained to him that, like, you need to, your mind needs to heal. And then he says, like, some things that I've done just can't be forgotten or whatever. And then she says, before she dies, because of course that's how that works, she's like his mentor in this fucking show. She's like, yeah, you don't have to forget them, but you can, like, move on with them or use them as motivation or some bullshit. I'll play the clip. Some things you can't forget, but you can fight to make them better. Uh, so, so she dies, and so he, he's he got his force back in full power by then, even before then. So, like, that's the force arc done. I don't know what it meant at all. But then you've got no. his, like, his main sort of mental issue comes from the fact that he believes he created Vader. And this episode seals that off. Vader says, nah, you didn't, I did, because I killed Anakin. And it's kind of, like, weird. He just kind of accepts that as, um... Yeah, you, you, I think that's possibly... The, that might be the worst part of that scene. Because that scene's quick. And I, yeah. I, I was very much distracted by Ewan McGregor doing some fantastic acting. Like, showing yeah. this heartbroken Obi-Wan Kenobi seeing what remains of Anakin under the mask. That's the kind of shit that would be in the best vision of this, as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah, like, his dialogue... He basically gives up on Anakin instantly. He's like... Yeah, Man, you know, you're my friend, I'm so sorry. I'm so The fact that he said I'm sorry for everything, and I'm pretty sure he delivered the line with a shit ton of emotion oh, behind sorry. it. I'm sorry, Anakin. For all of it. So yeah. something that's worth, I'm gonna come in with this, because this will probably be something that gets thrown as a counter, is, no, but, like, look at the evil smile that Anakin had. Like, he's, he's, he's gone. Um, that it's not just what he said, it's the way that he looked. That's not relevant to Kenobi, which is who we're judging this from. No, it's no, no. A, that, that, I, I know. I just figure it's worth bringing up because that that is the important part. Is does Obi Wan now believe that Anakin is 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 lost to well, Argon? I could Please. believe that if the scene went on a little fucking longer. Well, but he short. Every told him he was lost in, in Revenge of the Sith. Oh, so, well, so I was going to say, no, we he... basically just did that all over again. You have to no, do I, more. Yeah. Okay, so what I feel like this scene did was just um, to try and get back onto canon. It would be like, all we knew was yeah. I shot a gun, and that bullet eventually ended up in the thing that was in front of me. And then someone introduced a new story that takes place between when my bullet hit um, a steel wall. And it's like, wait, that can't make any sense, though. It's like, ah, wait until the next episode where I fire the gun again when the steel wall is down and the bullet travels through and hits that. But it's like, oh, so you, you fucked it up, but then you just recreated what happened and you're trying to argue, yeah, see, it's all in canon still. It's like, that, well, that that's, doesn't that's, work. Uh, that's something that should be a conversation that they should have had in the writer's room. If you feel like you really need to add lines, you know, that, oh, well then, goodbye, Darth, you know, trying to put in all of these lines or like, um, oh, lay, you can't let them know that, we, that we've ever really interacted before. If you have to ask these questions and insert these lines, it might be worth reconsidering the story that you're trying to tell and doing yeah. something that's a little bit more low stakes because this this one was super high stakes off the rail stakes they couldn't resist though they no. couldn't resist no, that they needed Darth Vader. Them face they off needed, against yeah other. and i think the disappointing part is that i think i really think that a lot of people would prefer this than the low stakes only on tatooine because in this case actually makes a lot more sense to do that really contemplative obi-wan story i don't know that that's what many people want because i get the impression that people were probably thrilled with like these well, scenes people would of remember. interacting oh, with each other the, the disney star wars fans they are going to be like clapping like mindless seals over stuff like this yeah it this wouldn't surprise me at all though they hit their lightsabers to together soon. hooray i could see them loving this yeah just, um disappointing oh, yeah. and a little bit it, it's it's just i i find it really lame to think that what is really desired uh, in terms of storytelling from Star Wars doesn't go much further beyond here, what we get here. But then again, give it like three months and everybody will turn on this show. It's so, 
Like that's that keeps happening with every single like Disney thing that's come out recently. Everybody thinks it's really cool when it comes out, and then give them a couple of months, and everybody turns on it. They start to realize, oh, maybe it wasn't that good. Oh, maybe that was kind of stupid. Maybe this was unnecessary. Like people are already turning on Doctor Strange. It's only been like a month and a half, and there was so much praise for that film, and now it's turned. And yeah. here, this one a lot of praise now. It's like give it a couple of months. But then everybody forgets, you know, like the next thing comes out and then everybody gets really excited again. I mean, the plan is but working perfectly, forget. like Disney's plan. Wonderfully. Like this show did so well and everybody was responding to it really well at the time. It doesn't matter if they don't care about it later on, as long as they get engaged with the next thing. Oh, yeah, because the like, next Andor they'll be caring about out. something else. Well, it'll be Andor. And I mean, at this point, like Andor so is like, yeah. And every single time people get really hyped for that one, it will come out. There'll be some aspects of it that appeal um, broadly to people so much so that kind of overrides a lot of the problems that may be present in these shows, because of course they're not out yet. People will really like it and then give it a couple of months and then everybody sours on it, but forgets that loop and it even and so it just, yeah. just they're already constantly. writing the, the loop. yeah they're they're focused on the high of the new thing that's just come out so it's fine it's, it's like an addict who always gets their yeah, drug that's, that's yeah that's been like that you know ever since the mcu like rose to prominence and it's going to continue to be that way because it's just it's a really good I, model well, well it's just it, we've money. seen it's Charting excellent <laughs> for making the, money it's it's a very good model i was going to say it's, it's, it's unreal to me the service where you just need constant flow of content that people can binge and That's it'll even apply exactly. to um the same level like so if a season so if everyone turns on this season eventually and says you know what that was actually fucking garbage which it absolutely is I don't know what the half life on this will be but fuck me anyway mm -hmm. once the, if they announced a season two then everyone will be like okay this is hype as fuck have you seen the trailer this looks way better absolutely, than season one yeah this looks they'll way be going better. to different planets yeah. there'll be new drama oh Qui Gon they're gonna be going on adventures together that'll be that'll be great it'll be old man and Jar Jar everyone will get excited yeah okay. maybe they will have like, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even the same seasons, like, nobody will just, they'll just, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. Hype culture is fucking toxic. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really it's bad. It's really Isn't it bad. funny, though, like, we're, we're now at the realm of pilfering the prequels yep. for stuff to, yeah. to cannibalize. Like, that's where yeah. we're at now. Yeah. Well, I feel like we've gone as Fuck far as we can sequels. go now. Like, well, we, they can yeah. do more, but yeah. this is, we had Obi-Wan yeah. Kenobi and Darth Vader. We've pilfered the most iconic, like, I, representation I of Star Wars. Vader and Obi-Wan, the, the quintessential Jedi, quintessential Sith. And they fought two more times. Both were embarrassing. By the way, the, the, uh, the, the, there really was. I, 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 I was just, because I've been scanning through. You had um, Kenobi do his stance while saying, "I will, I, 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 I do what I must." I think it was the uh, the thing he says in um, Revenge of the Sith. You had uh, "Hello there." I don't know if you caught it, but the Imperial March played for the last Vader you know, scene. I like, tried to point it out, but I think I wasn't loud enough. Which to me is just like, you know, they want the like whoever organized all that would be like, "See, we held off, we showed restraint." It's like, no, it's just awkward. All the different scenes you had with Vader that just had like generic Star Wars type music. And then you're like, there it is, though. Imperial March right at the end there. I am, it's like, oh. I am genuinely surprised that they didn't uh, do the Battle of the Heroes thing when they were fighting each other. I'm surprised they didn't um, pill for that. And they did their own song. Just, uh, none of us doing anything for me, though, all their original songs. Um, well, it's some because the woman who composed for this, she did the score for Loki. I think Loki has a really cool soundtrack. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I like the, the Loki soundtrack. I like about that, it's the only thing I like about that show is the music. Yeah, yeah and then, of course, um, um, Qui-Gon showing up as well. Like, there's just, there's all these little bit, like, fucking Leia with her holster and all the lines about how Leia is the future of us. Leia's gonna be amazing. Leia's so smart. And it's, like, it's definitely the, uh, the meta seeping in because you know where it's going, but the yeah. characters at this point in time Good. are where they are at this point in time. So, like, you know, you know, you gotta keep that in mind. You can foreshadow for sure, but kind of just having characters overtly state, you will be this type of person in the forthcoming, <laughs> you know, stories in the timeline. You know? Like, yeah, yeah, they're the fat will be like, oh my god, this fits in so well. <laughs> I think yeah, man. The level I, of I don't know how it anybody... now. Yeah, it's really shallow. When you think about how much they could have done, this is a ripe era to explore mm -hmm. in this universe. Obi-Wan is a ripe character to <sighs> spend some time with, especially at this point in time. This would be a point in time when you really could have a lot of conflict in him that you can explore. But instead, we use this story as a vehicle to do it. And we didn't spend a lot of time on that at all, because the plot kept getting in the way. What, oh, yeah, what you, think about, you think about episodes two and four and five? 
Like, what the fuck were the- Yeah. Because, obviously, the only time that really people are very much paying attention is when Vader and Obi-Wan cross paths. And then it's like, exactly. as writers, you really have to ask yourself why that might be. And then what you can do well, about that. I, mean, I know we haven't talked much about Reva, but that's kind of because there's not much to say about her. I think she's we've gone over there. it. Like, she's an I, awful character. She makes no fucking well, sense at all. But I think I think I've seen some sentiment as like, oh, what a what a like multifaceted, complex character, and it's it's. Yeah, they think to... that about Kylo Ren. <laughs> well, that I, uh, that's is is it that simple that in Star Wars, yes. as long as your character is confused. That makes them complicated. That Dude, they everybody don't know what they confusion. Believe. Confusion it, is a complex emotion that Disney Star Wars fans don't fully understand. Yeah. Can we, can I, I think it comes down to something as simple as as long as you show them do something good at the end, then that makes them a nuanced. That's what like, they learned about Vader, character yeah. in their eyes. Yeah. yeah. But the, the, the way this is supposed Very to work cool. is like they appear to have done despicable things on the surface, but then when you dig a little deeper, it's like you realize that they weren't as bad as they made out. Like maybe they covered for themselves a little bit, and there was actually another motive behind what they were doing. It's like okay, fine, that that makes a bit more sense now. But with her, it was just straight up. Yeah, she tortures people, she murders people, tortures little kids. Um, quite happily, she chops people's well, yeah, hands she, off. Uh, what she spent her entire career doing is the bad things on behalf of somebody who she wanted to get revenge against, and then realizing that she was a bad person came when she tried to kill somebody she's never met, knows nothing about, and has absolutely no reason to harm. Doesn't but she also this push out, like a young Jedi in the first line. episode who is roughly the same age as her? So that would have made him a youngling at yeah, the time of Order the... 66. Exactly. Why, <laughs> that's, that's, why was that's it? actually yeah. a really good observation. Yeah. Why Why, why did would Luke not... break the line? Why was that the stopping As point? opposed to the woman whose hand she chopped off. Well, yeah, and, and, I, I just I want to make sure we're keeping her. this in mind. We have no idea why she's desperately trying to kill Luke. Yeah. I don't know. So they could put her in that position of having the ability to kill the main series character and she doesn't do it. So Luke is literally only alive because she spared him. Was it? It, that's what they wanted. That the, uh, was it revenge on Obi Wan? Maybe, but, but maybe, I don't yeah. understand she why. Yeah. God, he, what a he, way to get he, back he at him. He helped her though. But he helped her. He well, was it, like, it, "I'm luring Darth Vader to you." That's that's what, hard, that? what I'm saying though. Is like it's like oh you know I I hate you because you weren't there to stop Vader. So now I'll kill your your children. I can <laughs> I can imagine what? the conversation in the writers' room because I can see it now. I can see the bare bones of what would have made them think that this was a really good scene without realizing all of the other elements in play in their story that can't make it work. I can imagine them thinking what would be a really great uh, piece of drama to have in the finale. Oh well, let's put Luke in danger because we know that everybody's going to be super invested if. if Luke is in danger. That'll be a really tense, dramatic moment, uh, and it means that we can have some action with like Owen and, and which is and weird Baru, because you know, and, um, like you know, everything's supposed to work out a certain way. Well, so it's going to be really tough for would, you to create tension with but me. But they would rebuke, like, ah, but here's the thing: we can use that as a parallel for what happened to Reva with Luke. It's perfect. It totally lines up. And then you raise your hand. It's like, yeah, but what about the rest of the story? And how yeah, what about the other 96 percent? Yeah, this scene Legit, cannot yeah, be yeah. facilitated by the story that you've created. I cannot I, fucking I, believe I that they actually yeah. showed young Reva. Where like I can't fucking believe. <laughs> And then I thought that oh, was yeah. already over enough, but then they have the flashbacks yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. In case in you're case stupid, you, you know. That's un. That is unreal. No this, is, this is content this made for stupid people. Like, I was going to yeah. say, how? What else can you conclude about that? They don't trust you but, at all. But people will say that it's really clever and interesting and smart. Like they will say this dumb. while while also saying stormtrooper bonked his head. You can't criticize anything that happens in it. You can't <laughs> these are ultimately these extremely simple-minded people. The they writers or the consumers? <laughs> has there been it, more it overt? Kind of... Like, I don't think even the room has shit that this this over with telling you the point. I'm fed up with this world. <laughs> Subtext <laughs> gone. Right at the end, you have Reva sitting there going like, "Oh, I almost became like Darth Vader." It's like yeah. <sighs> you don't need to say it. We get what, what's going on it. in your head. I understand. No, I it would be like, like in, well, really, that's the irony, it'll be right? Like in Return of the Jedi, when Luke's defeated Vader, and you know he sees the hand chopped off, and he oh, looks at his God. own hand. It's like, God, you you. Right there. <laughs> You <laughs> must understand, Mr. Emperor. I do not wish to become my father as he was corrupted. I do not wish to be corrupted. That would be 
bad. I would like yeah, to. Yeah, you talk about um symbolism, of course, cutting off the hand and then looking at your own hand. That's not that subtle, but it's enough that it's not telling you exactly well, what it, you need to think. Consider the line, um, um, I am a Jedi like my father before like me. Father After before that me. just yeah. happened. That's great. You have that example, and here... Instead of just having Luke be there and then Reva there, they need to put young Reva there too. They can't just have like the scene be as it is and the symbolism come through in what is real and here as opposed to these crazy hallucinations and flashbacks. That's the problem with like her whole motivation though. Like that could have happened to her at any time. It's like, wait, I was a child. You're right, who, yeah. Nothing, nothing unique when, or when special was, happens to her with this kill. When she was torturing Leia, that should have been the, the time. Yeah, like, what have I become moment. And no, we're supposed to believe like that she has she been hunting down- plenty of children. She's been hunting down plenty of Jedi of all ages. Yeah, this whole how time. many of them screamed and begged for their I can't, lives? Like, it's, it's so poorly done. So fucking piss poor. Absolutely, it's so poorly done. I mean, th this has to be the clearest example. You had access to everything you needed. You had great actors. You had mm -hmm. any a any of the actors you really wanted were available for this and ready to do it. You had all of the resources at your disposal to realize this without any major constraints budget-wise or anything like that. Or copyright-wise. Yeah, yeah you, you have access to this everything that you could want from the Star Wars canon. You had everything, but the script sucked. It just taints everything. Speaking of the script sucking, I it's... don't know if there's a funnier line in all of Disney Star Wars than Vader chasing Kenobi across the fucking universe, landing his ship right next to him, walking up to him, and then saying, have you come here to kill me? <laughs> yes. That's hilarious. I can't believe, I can't believe that. that. Why did that happen? We all noticed that at once. How we, come we, nobody we, else realized how stupid that was when they were making this and writing this, when it's did, so uh, obviously wait. ridiculous? I mean, how do you think the setup for this was completely different initially? And they, yeah, they filmed it, uh, basically a film a scene for a different storyline. Well, the and Vader's, you know the Vader's go... dialogue is the easiest to play replace yes, of any ADR. character. Here's, um, I just realized, how does... There was a Star Destroyer in orbit. How did Obi-Wan mm -hmm. escape? No, I... Oh, I just ah, left. This because is what, don't think about it. That's what I was trying to talk about. Remember really early on when I said, um... Okay, so so this is how it works, right? You got big ship and small ship. That's where Obi Wan is, and that's where the big ship is. The big ship couldn't hyperdrive yet. They had some line about it, and so I said, like, so if Obi Wan can hyperdrive, he should just leave now. I don't know why he hasn't yet, but if he yeah. can't, then he's fucked. But it turns out he could. So why the hell didn't he just hyperdrive away? Yeah, mm -hmm. just. Chill. And if you want to say like, well, he just re he really he was desperate to fight Vader. It's like, bro, you need to live to fight another day. Yeah, yeah, you remember Luke? Remember that really important mission? I fucking hate how much he does not- I, You know what, I think it was a courtesy flash. Yes, I'm using that to- that doesn't sound like what I think it's about to mean. Better than when a they, fear flash. When they were doing the, um, the, the, the moving the boulders scene, I think that was a courtesy flash of Luke when the writers realized, like, it's Leia, 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 Leia. It's like, wait, doesn't- isn't Luke a character? Oh, fuck. Have we got any- yeah, like, have we oh, got anything Luke. of Luke? Well, there's that one scene where he looked into the binoculars. Throw that in. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking that's embarrassing. He had. I can't- that's like, that's annoying. possibly one of the most infuriating things about this whole show, is that they've ruined, like, our assessment that Kenobi was very invested in protecting Luke. He just doesn't seem to give a fuck. Really Characters annoying. not caring has become quite a, uh, recurring theme. Also, what was that anime shit of him picking up all those boulders? I, I don't know. It was bizarre. I don't know what it is with, like, this era the of The Force has to be stronger this. and stronger and stronger and stronger. Right, it can never guys, be what it was. I always felt Kenobi was more of, um, really talented because he's, like, quite ingenuity guy, smart, also yeah, pr really yeah, good yeah. swordsman, pretty good with the Force. He's, he's, like, not gonna be as high up. But remember, like, he just, like, you. this is why I was, get, I was fucking going crazy. I don't think Kenobi should be able to beat Vader in a strict force fight. No, I don't think no, so. I think no. that one of the big... You know how, like... Because he's always so still and... and Lumbering, you know, for the most part, as and, well. Yeah, and slow. That a lot of what makes him scary is that in terms of his force capabilities, he's basically unparalleled. And that's why I can't believe me. I'm doing this again, but Rogue One nailed it. They were trapped in a hallway with the man, and he was using the force yeah. in really interesting yeah. and cool ways that don't break any canon. I think, he um, wasn't, yeah, he wasn't pulling starships down back to the planet, and he wasn't mm -hmm. ripping the hulls of ships apart with ease. He wasn't well, well, making so huge think, boulders uh, fly around. I agree that he shouldn't be able to pull that ship down, but I guess the point that's being made here is that if you're going to, like, that is what Darth Vader would be more capable of doing than Obi-Wan. Like, why aren't we... When we think about the fights between these characters, why aren't we thinking about their specialities in the yeah. Force? 
specialities as Jedi. Well, uh, you know, I would actually have like conceded, Bob like, Bob if the fight involved Kenobi keeping up a sword fight, but he keeps dropping boulders on Vader while they're fighting, and Vader keeps deflecting them, but it's just it's just a yeah. lot for him. We've talked about this before. How do you get a really powerful person to be defeated? It's like you need to stress them hardcore. You have to get them to fight loads of things at once. That's why, Rags, mistake. when you suggested, like, when's the time Reva should attack Vader? It's like when he's grabbing the ship, probably, because yep. that's going to be when Obviously. he's distracted. Instead of just being like, no, Vader just loses to Kenobi, even though he was overtly better than him in Episode 3. And it's like, yes, but Obi-Wan had a, the ship to had a escape, chat. So that would be a great reason for the ship to escape is because Reaver attacked him. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, a great reason for the ship to escape would be that Vader can't do that. But beyond that... <laughs> yeah, in the context of the show, just let Reaver attack and then they can leave. So... I, oh, yeah. And by the way, just, did you truly think you could defeat me? Have Ugh. you come to destroy me? You are stronger, but you're still weak. <laughs> when you <laughs> James Earl Jones available to do your voiceover still as Darth Vader, you you, you need to give the guy pure gold. He's they may not. just be giving him credit yeah, because they used his in voice. This. It's not him. It's the robot. Yeah, it's uh, definitely okay, the yeah. robot. They did credit you know him though. No, yeah, um I'll link you something. Okay, right. so, uh, that will explain it, kind of. Drink it. Uh, let's put it this way, right? And this happened to all of us. If you put his clips from the OT next to the ones from this show, it'll become obvious. <sighs> um, uh, yeah, I guess. Infinite Vader performances now! Special mention to the one thing I think I like in this whole show, maybe. I don't want to get too hyperbolic, but it feels hard to compliment things. And this is a writing thing. The fact that Reva says something like, You really love the boy. Like he's your own. Which, by the way, is, I guess, supposed to imply she does know the nature of Luke's biology, but how cop? How could she? Yeah. There's no way she should know that, but whatever. The fact that she says that to Uncle Owen, and then he says, He is my own. I like that. Yeah. That's he's nice. doing a little one, pop there. One tiny thing. Because yes. you know what? In a, in a good season of Obi-Wan Kenobi, we would have had plenty of time with Uncle Owen and Luke, and we could see what their relationship was like. I think yeah, there's, nice. there's always a lot to be said for a character, like, facing impossible odds. Like oh, yeah. He was, knowing he's going to die, but still refusing to, to give in. Um, and that's that's really what you got from him there. So, yeah, it was good. Yeah, you know what? I, I kind of want to bolster that. You're right, absolutely right. Like, him facing off a Sith with a stick, that's kind of amazing. And it's just because of how poorly put together this whole fucking series is that that happened, because it shouldn't really have happened at all, but it it gives you a bit of like, man, you know, Uncle Owen's kind of a badass. We and I, I do I do like that he's just like, what the fuck, like, why? why? What do you even want? And she's just like, justice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like she's Batman. <laughs> and he's just like, you're giving me no context for this. <laughs> I don't even know. What, what do you mean, justice? You're just trying to kill a kid. Done? Could you be more specific? <laughs> Like if she said, yeah, I, I know that I must... boy gets in trouble, but Jesus Christ, what did he do? <laughs> I must kill the child for justice. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? He's a good boy. Also, Aunt Baru's plan: I will hide and then slap her or punch or whatever. It's like, did didn't you have a blaster? What? Why did? Uh, you know what's well, interesting as well? She, she, she when she does when she has her like girl boss moment earlier in the episode, she's like, we should pick our positions now because she'll be coming just after sunset. Like yep. that would be the optimal time to attack. And then they completely don't pick their positions. They're just kind yeah. of wandering about the farmstead. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, I, I, um, I don't see why night line. would be the best time to come. Night well, would probably be the, the worst time to come. Line. The specific line was, "She will come when the suns go down." Which, but why? Was, it was great, great line. <laughs> Is it better for? Yeah. Wouldn't it be better for well, Reva to I be able mean, to see where they are? Why would it benefit her? Especially yeah. if you have a bright ass glowing lightsaber. Yeah, they're going to see you. Be doing that at night, it's easier for you to be ambushed at night. You want to come I, during the day where you could see better. It, it would definitely make sense for them to be outside and fire at her when she's like half a mile away, and it's like she's got to cover an awful lot of open right ground to get to them. Potentially, you could wear her down with blaster fire and maybe score a lucky hit. If Dude, we both like, shoot no, at the same time... Could you imagine if the plot line for season 2 is Leia gets kidnapped again? <laughs> be so Not funny. Again. Yeah. Taken 2. And then, it's and just then, Bowser abducts her. In episode, uh, we've all in episode 3, Vader turns up, fucking beats Obi-Wan, and then Qui-Gon actually this time is like, I'm doing the th I'm gonna give you a pep talk, and then you'll beat him, and then you'll say Darth again. It'll it'll fit, it'll all fit, don't worry. <laughs> I just like to imagine that Leia goes like on all these adventures, gets kidnapped all the time, and Luke's just chilling. Just yeah, chilling and, and Tatooine is like... Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, maybe um, Luke is the one that won out out of the two of them, yeah. What a horrific show. Yeah, I, uh, I'll be honest, uh, it was worse than yeah. I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, absolutely. Which I end up saying pretty much uh, yeah, about every single fucking thing the, that Disney put out. I'm like, totality. wow.
the totality of the damage is um unreal yeah, beyond what I expected. Hyper incompetence. There's some. There's so many mistakes they've made that they didn't need to make at all. Because mm -hmm. we remember we we took issue with just the premise. It's like why are you fucking with that? But okay, fine. We can try and make this work. And you think of ideas and stuff. But they just they just went nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Why, like, why did they decide to hire the most incompetent band of buffoons? Like, why is that a decision they made? What do you mean, the writer, the writers of the buffoons? Any, Disney and the writers. Anyone from, the most from, buffoons. from the, like, the most high position you can get to at Disney, down from there, until you reach these people, that question applies. I think they probably have all of these priorities on a spreadsheet of, like, what the episode needs to have, as far as, like, you know... We need at least two action scenes or whatever, right? They probably have shit tons of that. And that's like the... And then the actual writing process is just a matter of forcing all that stuff in. It's just a fucking sad state of affairs, the whole thing. Yeah. And, it is uh, sad. And it's just one in a long line of more shit that we're going to be getting. This is just the next one. Prepare yourselves for the next... What is the next thing? Andor. Andor? Oh, I oh, guess that, I meant... I, I guess I was including that. all Disney content. So is it Thor, Love, and Thunder Fire. is next, or...? Uh, yeah, yeah. Open up your mouth, everyone. <laughs> uh, Here comes the sludge. Okay. Where's the poopy? Up and doo -doo. Here comes the sludge. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. Who knows what the next it's one been, will be? Uh, it's been a journey. It's been an adventure. Um, what but I will instead say, instead of it being an adventure, we're happy at the end. We're just sad at the end. There will be a supercut of the all Kenobi episodes together, and there may be some extra bits. Here and there and there, and also maybe at the end. Because I wouldn't mind looking at what the comments are for this one, but we can only do that a little bit later. So, yeah, look out for the supercut. That'll come out too. Um, but anyway, uh, anything anyone wants to say before we wave goodbye to the nice people? No. I don't feel triumphant. No. I don't feel like... Yeah, I, I feel like... Um, Not even close. I feel, I feel bad. It was fun. I feel Lance. bad. It was time. fun, kind of. I think it's because we've just accepted that these shows are terrible and Star Wars is going to be just more and more dragged through the sludge and ruined as time goes on. And you know, once you kind of uh, just sort of accept that as the fate of something that you once loved, uh, well, yeah. They're running out of places to, to ruin, but I guess they can just keep doing the same ones. Yeah, I mean, in theory, there is a, a bottom-most point that they can get to. I guess in theory, right? Yeah, like actually, they've... Sure. They always think that, but then Maybe... they find a way to dig deeper. Maybe yeah. one day it won't make enough money for them to continue shitting on it. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, uh, have you seen no. these fans? Uh, no, these people eat this shit up. <laughs> They'll just, they would just fuck. lower the budget, I think. They would bring in Jar Jar. That's the emergency. <laughs> Binks. A Star Wars story. We said going home. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye, bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Just popping by. Yeah. Have a good day. Goodbye there. Goodbye. Bye. Toodaloo. Kenobi. <laughs> Kenobi! What you bring? <laughs>